Coach, you guys are 2-0. Tell me how that feels coming in to after the game. I don't think we've played real well either ball game, but we've made plays when we had to make plays to you know to get Ws, and I think that's that, that's a sign that you know that we've got a chance. Uh, I, I, the other thing is, I think there's things we got to fix. I, I, you know, we're not a good football team yet, but I think we have a chance to be. One of the things uh, that I've seen for the past two games is really that this team finds heart really late. How does how do you motivate that? Well, we have good character kids, you know, that, that's the type of young person that comes to Michigan Tech. You know, we get a lot of, you know, high ACT, uh, a lot of overachievers, kids that want to play, want to prove themselves, have competed all their lives for grades, and now they're willing to go compete on the field to, to try to get some Ws. Stanford of the North, I got you. Well, I, you know, I, I, I would, if they want to call us that, that would be fine with me, but, uh, you know, I think we got higher ACTs than, than Stanford. I got you, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Um, that last, that, the touchdown to take the lead there. Talk about uh, kind of that play call. Well, it, was and, dual, it, was dual, it was a dual call. You know, we had we had uh, multiple routes on it, and they, Brandon did a great job when he, the, the corner jumped the inside vertical and he hit the ball on the boundary, and you know, and, uh, we made a great catch on it. You had a quarterback that uh, saw trailing and, and really came up and never really showed that he was ever nervous in the game or that he was down. How do you how do you teach that with him or well, what do you he's tell competed, him? You know, I mean, he's, he's early in his, in his career as Q, but he's but he's competed all his life. Uh, you know, he's played the last two years. He's been an all-conference player, so he's you know he understands competition. He wants the ball in his hands when it's uh, you know critical situation time. You had an awesome goal line stand on defense, right. third and fourth down, were right. crucial big hits right. uh, by your man in the middle who led in tackles today. Uh, Talk us a little bit through that. What were what were you telling the guys right well, before that? Paul is a great football player, and, and Ben Talkin is a very good football player. And uh, you know they're, they're the heart and soul of our, our defense. You know they're, they're calling the signals. You know they're they're going to make a lot of plays for us. They have already. Uh, both both you know senior type kids that uh, give us great leadership, and they give us great uh, football mentality, and they give us great toughness. What are you telling the team going into Saginaw Valley next week? Well, we got a lot of things to fix. You know, I, I, we, we try to tell them we're not a good football team yet. I'm not going to lie to them. Uh, we can play good football, and we have in spots, but we're not a, a good football team yet. Good football teams, uh, you know, play 60 minutes and don't make the mistakes that we've made. You catch the game-winning touchdown pretty much, even though it wasn't like the last second of the game. You caught the game-winning touchdown. What was going through your mind at that moment? Well, I saw saw the ball go up, and I knew I'd have a chance to catch it, and I just tried to block everything out to help me. Cowley threw a great ball, and I was just, just happy to be able to make the play. You guys, uh, you guys are two and zero. How does that feel? Just that that feeling after the game, knowing that you guys survived the whole game and then won by a point. You know, it, it feels good. Just a win is a win, but we gotta, we you know, we gotta come back and work at practice to go get another one next week. You led in receiving yards as well today, the whole team. I mean, you were all over the field. I think if uh, we were to interview Malone, they would say, man, we wish 11 wasn't out there today, man. You had seven catches, 135 yards, and a touchdown. A little personal feeling, man. How does that feel to, to kind of lead the team in receiving? Well, it's a lot of fun when it's your number gets called and you get to make the plays, but a lot of people made plays offense and defense, so really great team wins. Does you know, like we said, we try and go into every week 1-0. Come out 1 0. We did that this week. Wasn't pretty, but we got the W. What was the biggest adjustment for you guys for the second half? Um, we pretty much did the same thing we did in the first half. You know, we were solid stopping the run, first and second down, forcing them into third and long situations, and the biggest thing was making plays on third down. What kind of things did you say for you guys to get adjustments on third down? Because in the first half, they made those on third and 11, and the long pass, but in the second half, it seemed like you guys got pressed on so long. Really limited is the chances on third down. Yeah, the biggest thing we needed was just to get a big push up front, get the QB moving, get some sacks, make them make bad throws, and we ended up doing that. What was kind of the mood, demeanor, and confidence on the sideline that first half when they're moving the ball? Evan, Evan. Uh, it's always tough, but I mean, you're gonna come overcome adversity every time you play in a football game. So it's just huge, huge for us in that aspect. And you had 20 tackles today. Tell me how that feels, just uh, as a personal stat. I mean, it sounds good, but there's a lot more that I could have made, missed plays. And it's really nice when you got those two guys up front eating up blocks for you. How do you keep this team motivated, even in the fourth quarter, knowing that you guys at one point were trailing and at one point had a one-point lead? Uh, from a defensive standpoint, we always put the game on our back. I mean, win or lose, the game's on us, basically, and that's how we always look at it. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Frank always tells me to just get behind him, so I kind of just put my head down and try to stay low and follow Frank, and it ended up getting him on the time.
Uh, you didn't have, I don't think you carried it at all last week. No, did you uh, were you kind of surprised any gave any touches like you did this weekend, especially in key situations? I mean, we always prep it. We were always ready to run that in short yardage, so we ran it so many times throughout camp, and you kind of hope it comes, and, but you don't expect it. And when it comes, you just try to do the best you can to get in the yard. What do you, uh, what do you see on the third and one, and what's going through your head before that play? Because it's pretty much going to be good at CS again. Uh, I was sitting there, and Coach tells us every time, this play needs a yard. So I was sitting there and I was thinking, get your yard, get your yard, drive your legs. And I just focused on coming out that other end.